Hello, here we are on the train departing Lhasa, 40 hours before we hit Beijing. We're going to cross uh, some high passes. Hi, girls. Say, so we made it through Lhasa. All the material got out. A lot of people heard about Jesus, and uh, it's actually been surprisingly smooth getting on this train. Poor Ricky's back in the hard sleeper car, and I don't think we can even access him for the next 48 hours. But, very. Bye bye. So thankfully we uh, opted for a soft sleeper. A little more expensive, but uh, with the amount of bags we have, everybody thinks we're crazy, number one. And number two, uh, we have a little more room. I think we're the only white people on Only white people on this train. But the Chinese love the kids, and that provides witnessing opportunities. See y'all. Harding Lhasa. Yep. We're at 12,000 feet now. I think the train gets up to 16 something. We've got oxygen outlets in here. Don't think we'll need that. Thank God for a soft sleeper car. And thank God for all the material that went out and lost with no problems, despite the tightened security. Now we're stocked with Chinese tracks. And uh, we plan to do a little distro in Beijing. Oh, high desert. Amen. Well, we're in northern Tibet now. We've been on this train about uh, that's five and a five and a half hours. How you feel, Ricky? Pretty good. Got me a nice little nap. Just enjoying the scenery. Jamie's out here witnessing this guy from Beijing. He's uh, a scientist, and we've discovered that about a meter under the ground out here on the plateau is permafrost. We're nearing the highest point on this railway at 5,040 meters. Beautiful country. Just saw three big furry wolves come down into a herd of yaks, scattering them. How do you feel, Bethany? Well, all I say is today, I went to Ricky and woke him up and now he's grumpy. Josiah, come here. Come back, baby. I'm eating yak, dried yak milk right now and okay. some pomegranates or whatever. We need to make sure that we are being a good witness for Jesus on this train, okay? We are crossing an altitude of 5,072 meters here on the railroad to Beijing from Lhasa. This is the highest point on any railway in the world, over 16,000 feet. We'll be exiting Tibet soon. All right, BB, tell us what you just got finished doing. I just went through the train and handed out tracks. How many tracks did you give out? A lot. So what did you do when you went through the cars? I gave each person a track. And did most people take them? Yes. What language are the tracks? Chinese. Did you have fun? Similar to that. Yes. Good. So you gave tracks to people in all the cars, and unfortunately they're not going to bother a little girl doing that, so um, praise the Lord. Now we have a significantly decreased supply of tracks for Beijing, but that's okay. Maybe we can find some somewhere. Thanks, BB. We're at a train station here in Xining, China, about 850 miles from Beijing. It's nice to just get off and breathe the fresh air. People are going crazy over the kids. Tried to give out a few gospel tracts. Some people refuse. It's all right. Charlotte, what you got? We're in central, north central China now. Uh, probably about uh, 18 hours until we arrive in Beijing. God's given us an opportunity to share Christ with this young man named Ma from Beijing. Ricky's in there now, laying the gospel out. I prayed this morning that God would give me an opportunity, and he came in the room and said, Most Americans believe in God. Why is that? Can you please explain it to me? Baby, what are you doing? We have finally arrived in Beijing after many, many hours on the train. 
traveling with a family and moving back to America overland is no easy ordeal. But thankfully, if you have a little money, you can uh, pay people to haul your stuff. So we head into this city to uh, sow seeds of the gospel. We're going to run out of tracks real quick, so we're trusting the Lord to provide another source. Amen.